to what extent do you think that that you could foresee our society sort of falling into these kinds of rotating doors of factions and and various tribes and whatnot? Like how how long do you think that would take based on what we know about current current society? I think we're already seeing the balkanization of the United States. So um, hmm. in some way, and I don't think it's like happening like through war. I just think it'll ultimately happen um, as people just go to more like-minded places and lines are more divided. I, I don't think anyone, I, I don't know how any, any person can look at the United States and be like, this is going to last the way this is for the next uh, 50 years or whatever. Um, mm. I don't think that that's going to happen without some change. And I think a lot of that has to do with just different people having different ideas and different self uh, ideas of self-determination. I think, I think the the power structures right now have, um, have lent themselves towards a left-wing power in the United States that, um, and I think in much of the Western world that controls most of the levers of power. And so you can imagine that whatever comical or cartoon-like child that 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 um, that ideology might have is exactly what you would get in a tough situation. You can say that other the, the, the thing about the other side as well, but. Factionalism is, I feel like we already exi experience factionalism. I just think it's generally peaceful and the country's big enough to accommodate all sorts of different people thinking and doing all sorts of different things, which I think is part of the beauty of the Republic. But I could see, and I, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but I could see a reality in our lifetimes where the United States somehow peacefully splits apart into some sort of federation where it's like there are four or five components, common military, common money, like all those things. I don't think that that's out of, out of, um, you know, out of the realm well, of possibility. Well, Colin, right? I mean, you're United describing, States. you're describing what the Constitution actually says the United States is, right? <laughs> I mean, like that it was supposed to be a federal government that's otherwise governing 50 United States, um, and and those states had their own ways of doing things. In fact, there's a Supreme Court case right now today talking about whether those states should have more power under very controversial circumstances, and we'll see how it goes. But one of the issues in terms of power and and balkanization, I think is the word that you used, is taking that kind of disparate concept of a people that can have reasonable minds that differ, but just good hearted people that disagree on the way forward for X, Y, or Z thing, being forced into solution one versus solution two. And so, you know, I think what we've got is we've got a hundred years of expansion of the federal government's power over the states, not really at all helped by the current situation over the last two years. And that tends to exacerbate things because now at least a portion of your population feels put upon by people out in Maryland telling them how to live their lives, right? And so I think you might have an adjustment towards going back to a slightly weaker, certainly executive branch, a weaker federal government, more state control of certain important questions. I think that you can survive as what, it, what you described as a federation, literally United States, if you allow for those kinds of differences amongst ways to actually govern a populace. If they don't do that, if the United States continues to kind of push down on the executive power and federal government power button, I think you really do risk significant fracture. Um, but in terms of, you know, like The Last of Us and, and video games, I think tribes, power sources, ways of operating would happen much faster than is posited by the game. You'll have people seizing power. You'll have functional republics, federations, tribes, uh, frontier towns, whatever, happening to a much greater degree, much quicker than is posited if there were a collapse of all municipal, state, and federal governments at once, give or take. I think you'd see localization municipalities really flourish, some of which would be not places you'd want to live. But I do think that that would happen to a significantly higher degree than really either The Walking Dead or... Uh, the last of us posits but it's a it's a hypothetical right we're, we're looking we're peering into the multiverse on this question but i do think the human reality is that uh there will be people that govern and people that are okay being governed and it would happen pretty quickly especially as we've seen especially in the last two years if safety is offered um and so i, I think that would happen pretty quickly